Hello and welcome to eBank Books Online Tutorials. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a new invoice in eBank Books. To start we go to Sales and click on Invoices menu. This will bring up all of the invoices in the system with unpaid invoices selected. To create a new invoice we click New Invoice button. We need to fill all the information in this form and this information will appear in the invoice that we will send to our customers. So here we can select a date, we can write comments, we can select a bank account that we would like this invoice to be paid into, we select a budget category, in this instance we select consulting income, a practitioner and we might like to put a reference number or purchase order number here. If it's a quote we can tick quote checkbox. Next we might like to choose a client by clicking search clients button. This will open the form with clients. If we have a few clients we might just delete a letter A here and click search clients to bring all the clients in the list. If we have a large list we might like to enter uh, maybe a first letter or beginning of the word say begins with and search on clients this way. We select the client from the list and click on the green tick to choose that client and yeah, they appear in the list. The next thing we need to do is add products or services by clicking the blue plus button. Now here we can either enter products and services manually or select them from the list by clicking on search products and services button. Here we have a list of products and we may choose a product that applies and click tick. Here in this line item we may still change the price, we may change quantity We can add discount as a percentage. We may change tax. And by clicking arrow up, we can see the totals adjusted themselves in the bottom of the form. Now, eBank Books has a very handy feature. You can work with two tabs in the browser. For example, if I want to select a product that is not currently in the list, or maybe I would like to add a client that is not currently in my list, I might like to open a second tab. For Internet Explorer and Google Chrome you need to right click on the tab that you want to duplicate and select duplicate from the drop down menu. For Firefox you need to hold the control button on your keyboard and click reload button and that will duplicate the tab. So once you open second tab in the bank books you don't need to re-log in straight go to sales, now we're working in the second tab here and we may add services or products so we might like to add another product to the list so what we need to do is click on the blue plus button and fill the details for this new product we can select category let's say it's a product enter price for the product we may adjust tax and we can tick purchase item if this item is used for both sales and purchases. We may also upload picture, write notes and once we're happy we click on the green tick button to save. Now this new product is in the list. We can go to the first tab we're working in our invoice and we may like to add that new product as a second line item. So we click on search products or services, we select new product and click tick. And here's that product now in our list. Again we may like to make changes and so on. Once we click on the arrow up, the totals have been recalculated and if we're happy we click on the green tick 
We are told the transaction is saved, so we know that's the case. And we click cross to close the form. So now this invoice is in the list. If you'd like to make any changes to the invoice before it has been paid, you can click on the view or edit button. And you go back to the invoice, you can make all the necessary changes. If you decide that you want to delete this invoice, you can click on delete a checkbox and delete this invoice. It will still be in the system, but it will be hidden. So we don't really need to wish this invoice. We click save and close the form. Now that this invoice is in the system, we might like to send email with this invoice or we might like to print it. To do so, you need to click on the checkbox next to the invoice and then click print button. The printable invoice has opened in the new tab in the browser. We can have a look and see that this invoice shows our business details in the header with our company logo. We have all the information we entered in the new invoice form. Details of the client shown here and our line items. And in the bottom here the payment terms and the date. If you would like to email this invoice as a PDF file, what we suggest you do is you download a handy little software called Afixa. Details of how to download this software are shown on the screen. This is a free software. It works with the Adobe add-on for your browser. And I will just move the screen here. You can see here they've got icons for printing, saving, invoice, or emailing it. So once you download a fixer, this button will automatically attach the PDF you see on the screen to your email. And here I'll move it back. So here uh, we are asked whether you would like to send it as a link or as an entire PDF. Make sure you select save copy of entire PDF because this link will be only temporary. So we send a copy. And here you can see this invoice has been included as attachment in my email. This concludes a tutorial on how to create an invoice in eBank Books.